I have no idea what we're doing tonight. It's supposed to be thunderstorms and rain and it's probably the hottest night of the year. Well, yesterday was hotter I suppose, but yeah, so we're going to see if we can find some cool sea breeze, I guess, and uh, try and find that sweet spot between going fast enough to get a cool breeze, but not so fast that you blow up. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> he was in a hurry. Oh, a veritable traffic jam in the uh, side roads. Uh, it is some um, rush hour. Oh, I suppose it is, yeah. No, just the thought. Really? Yeah, I'm always worried about grounding my, my, my feet out. I've never done anything like this before, remember? Yeah, true. Ever. You have. You grew up on it. Yeah, not on this bike though. <laughs> no, I've got the road tyres on and everything, so no. Yeah. I like the way my bike looks um, in, one in one piece. And I like my elbows and knees <laughs> in one in piece. One piece. <laughs> We'll get John to include that on a on a night ride sometime. Who says you can't take a giant tough road round a BMX track? <laughs> I mean, I'll admit, my pump action is not what it was because I didn't get round in one go like I used to on the BMX, but that was good fun. Thank you. Yeah, Julie sort of chickened out a bit a bit, but I don't blame her. <laughs> of course, she'd never had the uh, the knowledge to fall back on from being a kid, so there you go. I mean, I'm still a kid, you know what I mean? But if only I had that sort of energy. Careful, there's cars here. Alright. Well done, good boy. We're at Muddyford Key. And I know this place quite well from crabbing with the kids. There's the beach huts that we normally sit behind. You can see Hengistry Head just there. There's the two ferries actually. I don't know if they're running at all at the moment, but you can get across to the other side. There's all the beach huts running along Muddyford Spit there. And uh, the path that we took last week goes along the bottom of that uh, hill there and then off towards uh, Bournemouth, Bournemouth uh, Beach, smile? Southbourne Beach and then Bournemouth. Anyway, <laughs> you can ride all the way to the end here. Um, I mean there's nothing here 
but uh, you can ride all the way. It's a bit sandy in places, a bit stony, but you can make it all the way along. What are you, what are you trying to catch? Crabs. Just crabs, yeah? yeah. Well, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> drafting, drafting, drafting. Mike's draft in the van, about two miles an hour. <laughs> Puddles. Must have got a bit more rain over here. Okay. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, okay. Here he comes. <laughs> Here he is. How's it going? Holy that's good, you guys. <laughs> well it's a bit cooler by the beach at least. It's not bad, it's not bad. Yeah, this was a long, hard walk in bare feet, this was, when it was gravel. Yeah, as a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, a bit of sand. Nothing wrong with a bit of sand on road tyres. It just digs in down to the hard stuff quicker. <laughs> Yeah. through Chewton Bunny and um, it's somewhere I used to come as a kid but I never realized that it had been sort of developed like this you had a proper pathway now so really good you get it through from Highford Castle and through and here's the weir under the bridge yeah it's quite nice being able to get all the way from uh, Highcliffe Castle through to here. Um, when I was here, the zigzags down to Highcliffe Castle were all um, quite treacherous, let's say, um, gravelly and slippy, but uh, it's all been made into a proper path. It's easy to ride down. A bit sandy down on the beach, but you can get all the way along. So yeah, wonderful. So, quick question. They're called gravel kings, but they're 32 millimetre and they're slick. So, are they road tyres or are they gravel tyres? Because we're sort of doing a bit of both tonight. And um, yeah, there's a couple of places where I could have done with a bit more of a footprint, but um, so far so good. The cliff top at Barton on Sea, heading towards uh, Milford on Sea and uh, Key Haven. Uh, be interested to see how the tyres do here because there are a few steep bits that are a bit pebbly. Anyway, uh, the needles, the Isle of Wight, 
over there. Uh, there's a ride plan for the 5th of September. Hoping to be on it, not 100% at the moment, but yeah, fingers crossed, we'll be around for that one. It'll be a, a good day out. Uh, I assume travel to the Isle of Wight and everything is fine. Uh, the ferries are back on and you know they're selling tickets for bikes so yeah we might just have to have a little read up on that but uh, can only see one one cruise ship tonight and you probably can't see it at all actually I can see the stack of a couple more behind Hengisbury Head so yeah the others are there it's just this one's further round muggy again tonight but fresh sea so yeah, air it's not, it's not too bad not too bad here anyway I hope Julie got that bit because the camera ran out just as I was going up it I t it was heroic I, I grounded my pedal and the foot came out but I kept going and well I just filmed Mike on my camera doing this little bit of um, trail and it looked quite steep so I'm about to follow him um, see if I can do it too it is quite close to the cliff. Hiya. Hello dog. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Did make it up and actually I've got I've got a feeling that it depends what pressure you have in these Gravel King slicks. Actually, they're doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good, even on the loose stuff. So, I have noticed that I've got to maybe change my technique a bit. Maybe I'm relying on the grip of the bigger tyres at times because I'm noticing I'm trying, to, you know, starting to wash out a little bit here and there. So, maybe I need to change my technique and not let the tyres get me out of trouble. Well done. Yeah, this is these tyres are definitely showing me that. So, anyway, there she goes. Oh my god, there's a hole there. <laughs> you see that? She purposely tried to make me go down the hole. She blocked the path, pretending she was taking a photo of me to send me down the hole. Honestly. Hey. Did you jump off the drop? Well done. Oh, I went off the drop. Well, you went off. Well, you went off. <laughs> <laughs> she dropped off the drop. But that's good enough, isn't it? She's still in, yeah, on two wheels, so it's good.
been told by MBH that McDonald's chocolate shakes are a great sugar hit, lactic hit after a, a long bike ride. So yeah, there is a McDonald's about two miles yeah, down the road here. But I don't know that we've done a long enough ride to deserve it, so we'll see. Meow. Oh, yes. <laughs> don't go straight on, don't go straight on. <laughs> I mean, it would have been so much quicker to go round the roundabout, but hey, you know, it's a bit of fun. It's not 20 miles. Well, that's blown it. McDonald's was shut, would you believe? Yeah, they got all kinds of uh, contractors in the car park. It looks like they're having work done, so that's put an end to that. Look out for the little Japanese one behind the great big fat German one. Tonight's ride has been brought to you by the number 30, as in miles, and by the number 320, as in calories, from four McDonald's vegetable dippers. <laughs> Disgusting as they were, they got us round. So, there we go. Well done. Big push at the end. <laughs> She's not talking to me. She's not talking to me because I shouted at her to make her work harder. You did? <laughs> I'm warmed up now, where are we going? <laughs> yeah, anyway, there you go, that's a quick, it's 30 miles. Oh, dead on, look at that. Yeah, there you go, so anyway, I think we overheated a bit when we were actually looking for sea breeze to cool us down. Never mind, it was still good fun. <laughs>